Hello and welcome back to AP Psychology here on Educator.com. This particular lesson we're going to be taking a look at uh, states of consciousness, specifically drugs. Objectives from the College Board. Identify the major psychoactive drug categories, for example, depressants and stimulants, and cl uh, classify specific drugs including their psychological as well as physiological effects. So we'll also be looking at drug dependence, addiction, tolerance, and withdrawal. Psychoactive drugs, what are they? Well, they're any chemical substance that alters perceptions, mood, or behavior. So they're affecting us in ways that uh, get into uh, our definition of psychology, which involves our thought processes, our emotions, and our behavior. It will change consciousness through changing the brain chemistry, either through neurotransmitters, boosting the, um, uh, those neurotransmitters in the brain, uh, working on behalf of and mimicking neurotransmitters as agonists, or blocking neurotransmitters as antagonists, and some other chemicals just break the blood-brain barrier, a process where the brain is able to filter out information coming through the bloodstream, and they just get in and do their dirty work that way. Physical dependence and addiction. So first we look at tolerance, and that is the response to our, our first exposure to a particular drug is typically going to be very, very strong. However, our response over time is going to weaken, and when it weakens, that we're going to need more drug to produce that same response. So uh, just as a, uh, an example, the first time a person, say, tries a, a, has a, a bottle of beer, one beer is going to get them pretty drunk. But over time, if they start drinking uh, more and more alcohol, they will develop a tolerance. So then after a little while, it'll take two beers to get them that same drunk. Then after a while, it'll take four beers to get them that drunk. And then later, five beers to get them that same level of, of being drunk. And so our bodies will have a level of tolerance. And we're going to need more drug, as I said, to produce that same response. And this, uh, this tolerance occurs in the brain. It occurs in the heart. And for alcoholism, it occurs in the liver. Withdrawal is a series of responses when one stops taking medications or recreational drugs. So um, there are some people who may be taking uh, what are called selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, a particular class of antidepressant drug. If they are taking those and they stop without working themselves off through a doctor's uh, guidance, they may have cravings, tremors, anxiety, increased depression, seizures, or even death, depending on the drug. But these are withdrawal symptoms for any drug. So you could, it's going to depend on the drug, the specific withdrawal symptoms, but these are all symptoms one can experience when stopping a drug that they have been uh, addicted to. Psychological dependence. So what's going on in our mind? These are uh, when drugs that reduce stress become an increasingly important part of a user's life often as a way to relieve negative emotions. Now, sometimes um, psychologists will call this self-medication. Some people will self-medicate. They will alter their emotions or mood alter by uh, exercising. That's one of the things that I do is I exercise. That makes me feel better. Some people haven't discovered that, and they will use chemicals to mood alter. And so when they self-medicate or, as I said, mood, mood alter, um, they may create a psychological dependence on the particular substance that they are taking. 